In this video, we will talk about how to plan your search terms. The first step is to list the characteristics of what you would consider a useful article for your project. In this example, my requirements are that the article include the terms football helmets, high school or college athletes, and concussions. I need to also consider what limitations I want. Most professors prefer that you only use peer-reviewed articles. You also need to make sure you limit to English and geography if you would like, as well as consider what years do you want to cover. Next, visualize your search by dividing your question into separate concepts, with each circle representing one topic. For example, here you'll see I put high school or college into one circle, football helmets in another, and lastly, concussions or head injuries. Writing in synonyms ensures that you get back all relevant articles on your topic. So when combining your terms, synonyms are ORed and different topics are ANDed together, as in the example listed below. So how does this look when you add the terms to a database? You will see here examples of advanced search from EBSCO database and from a ProQuest database. You may have noticed that most advanced searches include three blank lines to combine. This is because combining three terms together usually gets you the closest to what you need. Most advanced searches have three lines to help you easily divide up your research question into several different topics and then combine them together in the way that makes the most sense. Be sure to put ORs in between your synonyms. So why bother to plan your search? It helps you to be more effective with your search. And thinking about the synonyms also makes sure that you get all relevant articles. For example, if I had only put in the term concussion, I would not have received this article, which uses the term head injuries instead. And this is a really good article for my paper. In the next video, we will cover how to search an EBSCO database and move those items into RefWorks.